Now, if you know hockey, you are aware that if a player picks up a penalty in the sport, he must leave the ice for a certain amount of time. That's generally around two minutes. At that time, his team is playing what is referred to as shorthanded. Thus, if they score, like the Coyotes, Coyotes Michael Grabner did here against New Jersey, it's a shorthanded goal. Tucson's Jeremy Gregard there is pretty good at scoring when the Roadrunners are playing down a man. He has three shorthanded goals on penalty kills, a.k.a. PKs, already this season. The PK, it's really important that you need some good uh, hockey sense to, to play on that. And I was, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to, to have a, a good hockey sense. And I, I had the puck on a couple of times on the breakaways and just scored. When you say uh, hockey sense, like what are you kind of referring to? I'm referring to uh, you got to be able to read the play, where the puck's going to be, what the opponent's going to do with the puck and react uh, pretty well to it. And the Roadrunners say these types of shorthanded opportunities come from playing great defense when they're trying to kill off a penalty. We have an aggressive penalty kill, and I think um, you know guys being in the right spot and um, you know converging on bobbling pucks or loose pucks or block shots. What goes into an aggressive penalty kill? Yeah. Just, I mean, kind of like a seven-second rule. So it's just um, right off the get-go. Once the puck's in play, we you know you get pressure, try and force, them, get them to force uh, you know a turnover. We're a pressure team in all situations, whether we're forechecking, we're playing defensive zone coverage, we're penalty killing. We want to be a pressure team, and I think that carries over. Uh, throughout our whole game. What makes you kind of a good guy to be on that particular special team? Well, you got to be dedicated. It's not always easy to block some shots and be in shooting lanes, but uh, I'm willing to do it and I think it serves me well. Is there something, I guess, when you guys are kind of in that defensive mode then that where you're looking for that particular moment to, to attack offensively or get it, get it down to the other side? Yeah, I know it's the exact opposite. You got to take care of defense first and uh, when you take care of the good things, you get some offensive chances. If you start uh, cheating for offense, that's when you're not going to have any chances.